Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna be having some pulled pork. So here my good friend, Mr. Neville. We're talking fresh, hot food, guys. Gonna be really, really delicious. Neville, ready to be eaten? Later. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. Today we're in Fairport, New York, basically Rochester, outside smoking Hot Chicks Barbecue. Yes, smoking Hot Chicks Barbecue, guys. Here doing their cannery row smoke stack challenge. That is a mouthful. And this sandwich is a mouthful as well. So this is a massive barbecue sandwich featuring brisket, pulled pork, um, smoked fried bologna, their mac and cheese, french fries, fried pickles, cheese sauce, which is spicy apparently, and uh, pretty much everything, like everything but the kitchen sink, I guess you could say. Um, so anyway, it looks really, really good. Definitely very big. Um, this is an undefeated challenge, actually. Uh, now, the traditional challenge is five pounds if you weigh it out. However, I'm gonna try and eat two. Yes, that's right, two. Um, the challenge is, I think, $44, $44-ish dollars if you do not complete it. You do have 30 minutes to do so. And if you do, you get a free meal and a t-shirt. Um, we're gonna have one hour today to eat the two, should we hopefully be able to. So hopefully we can at least beat one, maybe two, but this place smells good, it looks really good. Um, so yeah, pretty much, let's head in, let's have some of these food. I'm excited, I love barbecue, guys. This is supposed to be some of the best barbecue in Western New York, so I'm super excited to be here basically in Rochester. So, that's about that. Let's go eat and that's it, let's just, let's just go. All right, around. so here we are with the Cannery Row Smokestack Challenge times two. Guys, these are huge. Like, look at the size of this. They each weigh, again, legit five pounds. We have everything on here. Everything looks absolutely delicious. So that's pretty much that, though. We are gonna have one hour, 30 minutes per sandwich to eat and complete. I also have a bottle of their Sassed Up Sweet Barbecue Sauce, their signature house sauce, which you have a little bit on here. I have some extra just in case. Um, but that's about that, so we might as well get started here momentarily. I'm pumped. Um, again, we will actually win a t-shirt if we complete this, and I can also get a hat as if I complete both, you know what I mean? So I don't need t-shirts, I get a t-shirt or a hat, so. But um, that's about it. There's no really other place to start but to get eaten, so let's get started here just momentarily. Got our fish timer. I'm ready, restaurant's ready. So how about we get started? Let's say the count of, wanna give me a countdown, guys? Three, two, one. Let's go. Mm. Ooh, sausage. Mm. Mm. Turkey. Mm. The fried pickles are actually really good. Nice bit of acidity on it. It's got loads of brisket, pulled pork. Great flavor. Nice bit of smoke on it. They do smoke with a hickory. That turkey's fire. Very much. Definitely get that mac, that cheese sauce. That's just a really nice flavor. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at Smokin' Hot Chicks Barbecue. Yes, Smokin' Hot Chicks Barbecue. If you're gonna give them a Google, make sure you put barbecue at the end. Otherwise, you're gonna get some interesting search results for Smokin' Hot Chicks. Here doing their Cannery Smoke Stack Challenge. Anyway, a great big, big barbecue sandwich. 
Um, I am doubling the challenge as we mentioned, so here I have in front of me 10 pounds of barbecue sandwiches. Delicious. Very, very juicy. That brisket is just fall apart too. While the traditional challenge was undefeated at the five pound sandwich, singular sandwich, I figured I was into some good barbecue and I wanted to give it a go. People always, you know, say, push yourself, Joel. And while I do constantly, constantly push myself, I was feeling a little, mm, you know, hungry, I guess that you could say this day. So I figured I would try to tackle two of these undefeated beasts. So really cool sandwich. You literally have pretty much everything they offer on it. So I can truly say I got a sample pretty much the whole menu and it was delicious. The brisket was really nice. They had a pulled pork, which was good as well. They had the turkey, which was very, very, very impressive. Um, they had a fried smoked bologna, which was pretty interesting. They had the sausage, which was really good. Then we had french fries, macaroni and cheese, deep fried pickles, coleslaw, which was kind of like a little bit of a Cajun uh, or, or Chipotle, more like Chipotle kind of ancho mix. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Some of that sausage getting in there as well. Delicious. All right. There's most of the innards on the one. So to make a long story short, a lot of deliciousness, and then of course on top of these extra large, specifically, specially made salted rolls they are called. Yes, salted roll, which kind of remind me of a wreck. Let's do this buns up. Big bump. Here's just my face. This is made from a local bakery. Especially for the challenge. It's good. I think it's called a salty roll. And if you're wondering what I mean by wreck, it's kind of like, if you've ever been to Buffalo, if you've ever been beef on wreck, and so they're like buns with, I think they're called like Kinnawick seeds or something on them. That's kind of what this bun reminded me of, except they didn't have the Kinnawick seeds or whatever on it, just kind of the salt at top, as generally those buns have Kinnawick and salt on top. So that was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, a little salty bun, uh, which was a nice addition. A little dense, but nonetheless. Um, so yeah, overall, again, uh, 30 minutes to complete the challenge. They did give me one hour as I was attempting to. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the majority of the information I have for you today. Um, I will say there was also some like jalapeno cheese sauce on the sandwiches, to which added like a little bit of a heat in certain bites. Um, just as some of the barbecue sauce added some nice kind of smoky, um, warm spice flavors to each of the bites as well. And kind of each bite was all different. Um, but they do smoke with a hickory wood, so it has a nice kind of medium level smoke. So if you're ever in the area, definitely recommend stopping on by for some barbecue, whether it's a plate or a sandwich, of course. Mom has a little moisture. And then if you want to try the challenge, you do need to call uh, and give them a heads up uh, in advance, um, probably like a day or two, uh, just to make sure they have everything all prepared. Um, but yeah, that we will get to the rest of the video. In regards of the actual difficulty of this challenge, I would say it is about an intermediate level. Uh, being five pounds is a good size, I think, for a food challenge. Um, it is an accurate five pounds, which I really appreciate as they weighed everything out. Um, but you do only have 30 minutes. However, that being said, it, this was absolutely delicious. The food went down very easy. Um, and yeah, so like I said, guys, smoking hot chicks, really cool place. And uh, like I said, just outside Rochester, definitely worth checking out. And with that, let's see if we can finish both these sandwiches. Big bun though. All right, so that time we just finished the one. How are we doing for time? No? How are we, do, how are we doing for time? We're still 53 minutes. So seven? Seven minutes. So roughly seven minutes. So let's get on to the next one. Oh, wait, he's one down. Oh, my God. He's one down. Oh, yeah. 
That's insane. You won't even have to like fast forward that. <laughs> well, don't jinx me yet. This will be this one will be slower. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it must be so good. I just I can't stop eating. <laughs> Do you need some Fritos? Do you need some water? Um, I think I'm okay for right now. But I appreciate that. All right, getting the second one, guys. Whew, lots of cheese sauce in this one. Very delicious, though. The turkey, the fried pickles, great flavor combo. We know what those buns are like. Are good, but pretty tough, so let's get trucking. I have a big mouth, but it's not that big. <laughs> really good too actually it's kind of like a little bit chipotle that smoked fried bologna that's on here it's a nice flavor as well Woo. no shortage of food though fill them with that sauce on it it is very very delicious nice sweet sauce just a little tangy it goes great with everything I have the heat back on. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Thank you. I don't have the, I don't have the meat sweats yet. So. No, thank you. <laughs> Somewhere about 12-ish minutes in. We're gonna make our way through this one. Definitely won't be as fast as our first one. A lot of food, definitely filling up, but it's very, very good. This one, I'm also getting some real, like, something happened in my mouth right now is a little spicy, but it's not bad. It's a di different dynamic, that's kind of it. You get a different bite, a different dynamic with each bite of this sandwich. Some meat there. What's the time? What time are we at? 46. Last? Yeah, let's go. 50. It feels like a countdown has a little bit more tension to it, so. I'm just gonna brisket. It is very good taste. I think we're roughly 15 minutes in. Alright, I'll do the bread, the bun. Bite up a little bit. Hopefully, go down a little easier. Yeah. Forty three minutes on the clock. Forty three left. Okay, so about seventeen in. Whew. What's the actual time? The actual time is five oh five. Thank you. <laughs> I 
I see what they call it, a salty roll. There's really nice salt on the top of it. I run 90 minutes in, then the last half a bottle. The juicy half though. So 22 minutes, 10 seconds, guys. Very, very, very delicious barbecue. Couldn't stop eating, what could I say? No, seriously, uh, the brisket was really nice. Love the flavor on that. Um, the sausage was absolutely delicious. The turkey was super, super moist. So yeah, no complaints, definitely enjoyed it. This sauce is really good as well, definitely. A little sassed up, we'll put it that way. Excuse me. Yeah, that's it. Burping, compliments to the chef, compliments to the whole team. But yeah, guys, if you're ever in the area, definitely stop on by Smoking Hot Chicks Barbecue. Yes, the barbecue is key, otherwise, you're just looking for smoking hot chicks. <laughs> I'll leave that. I'll let you know. Yeah. Maybe you can also find here, but that's not what we're here for today. So, like I said, super delicious. So, that we do get the sandwiches for free, which is awesome. And we, I think we get a t shirt and a, I think a hat as well. So, super pumped, guys. This was really delicious. Rochester, thank you so much for treating me so well. Um, the people here are fantastic. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, great food, great people. I have no complaints. So, that. Like that. That's it. That's it. Seriously, we've got a really, really nice crowd. I like it. So, with that, everyone. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you're having a lovely life. And that, of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Uh, don't do what I do. Just don't do it. Don't, you know, whatever. Um, the challenge, you do need to call in advance to do it. Uh, but it was, it was very delicious. I definitely feel like you get your money's worth out of it. Uh, and yeah, it was very, very good. So that everyone, of course, till next time, just have a lovely day, have a lovely life. Goodbye, happy eating. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock. Yeah.
And here we got the shirt. We got the Cannery Row Smokestack Challenge. And is there anything on the back? On the back we got, I smoked that stack. I like it. And here we got this sweet hat, guys. Smoking Hot Chicks Barbecue. So, again, huge thanks to everybody here. It has been a good time. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Where today we're gonna be having some barbecue. We're gonna have some fresh pulled pork. It's <laughs> awesome. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're gonna be having a big barbecue challenge. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're gonna be doing a big barbecue challenge. I have my good friend Mr. Neville <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh man. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're gonna be doing something different. We're gonna be having a really big barbecue challenge. So I have my good friend Mr. Neville here and uh, we're just gonna have to prep him up a little bit. So we're gonna be back here with some food just momentarily. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna be having some pulled pork. So here my good friend Mr. Neville. We're talking fresh hot food, guys. It's gonna be really, really delicious. Neville, ready to be eaten? Thanks for your help, there, Gage. Hey Neville, how you doing? You're just eating bananas and everything. Neville's a good sport. We're not actually gonna eat Neville today. He's pretty cute though. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're in the process of fattening up my food. So this is Neville. We're gonna be having a big barbecue challenge today. We're talking really, really, really fresh meat. So basically, we'll be back here just momentarily. Just gotta uh, get sit down to business and then let's get eating. Hey everyone. Oh, hey Biggie. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. They always say you're not supposed to play with your food, but they never said you can't lay with your food. So we're gonna be having a really nice barbecue challenge here today. We're just gonna set Neville on up here momentarily. So we're gonna be back where we're gonna have some delicious barbecue. <laughs> Hi Neville, one more time. Hey everyone, Chalance here. Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be having some delicious barbecue. I know they always tell me not to play with my food, but they never said I can't lay with my food. So we're gonna have some real fresh, homegrown cooked barbecue. Of course, we're gonna be uh, back in just a moment. Things might look a little different, but in the meantime, thanks Neville. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, you're fine. That's house pig action. Hello. Hello. So they say pigs are friends, not food. I think it depends on the moment. But this guy is, this guy is definitely, uh, this guy is definitely a keeper, aren't you, buddy? There you go, guys. Oh yeah. He is just, he's just looking for food. Apparently, they will eat everything. Let's see. Can I give him a piece of this? Let's give him a piece of apple peel. Here, want some apple? <laughs> Look at the snout on him. What a cute pig. You are just so cute. You are just so cute. Look at the pig. Oh, yes. Nice piggy piggy. You're what I'm having for lunch later. Oh, look, there's a piece. There's a piece right here. Look, there's a piece. Look, right here. There's a piece. I don't even know if you can pick it up off the floor. They're not going to start with this. There you go. You got it? 